Hey everyone, uh, Wes here. I want to give you a tutorial on how to install XAMPP. Uh, and what XAMPP is, is a, um, it's a little package that lets you run uh, applications locally on your computer. Uh, so we are going to be working with WordPress locally on our computer and we want to be able to run WordPress on our computer. Uh, so XAMPP um, will allow us to do that. Uh, we'll go into more of what XAMPP actually is during the course, uh, but for now, uh, just know that we need to have it up and running uh, before we get to to the class. Um, so XAMPP is, is pronounced XAMPP. You might think it starts with a Z, but it's actually uh, spelled X A X A M P P. Um, and first thing we want to do is go ahead and download it. So if you go ahead and go to Google and search for XAMPP, uh, you'll want to find the link that says SourceForge. So uh, it's it's about the third third link down when you search for XAMPP. Go ahead and click that, and click the download button. Uh, now this will download everything for you, and it's actually quite a bit big download. It's 102 megs. So uh, depending on how fast your internet connection is, it may take uh, anywhere from one minute on my fast connection or maybe 10-15 minutes on a bit of a slower one. Uh, so I've gone ahead and uh, installed it or downloaded it already. I'm just going to go ahead and open it. So you're going to get a few of these pop-ups here and uh, I'll kind of guide you through each one of them. So um, this one, go ahead and click yes. Give it a sec and it's just going to pop open. Uh, now, the first thing that happens is we get this warning here. Um, and basically this is important because activated user account control. Basically what this means is that because Windows has a bunch of security uh, concerns on it, uh, when we're installing it, we need to kind of pay attention. And I'll um, point out this step as we go through it. So when you see this, don't worry, just go ahead and click OK. Uh, click Next. Here you'll see all of the things that we're able to install. This should be all checked and you can just push next. Now here's the really, really important part they need to pay attention. Um, in order for XAMPP to work properly on your computer, uh, it needs to be installed to C colon forward slash XAMPP. So uh, if this says anything other than that, you need to make sure that it says C colon forward slash XAMPP. You may see C colon forward slash program files forward slash XAMPP. Uh, if it's installed to program files, it's not going to work correctly. So make sure it says again C colon forward slash XAMPP. Next. Uh, Vietnam is the guys that actually develop XAMPP. Uh, XAMPP's a free program, so they uh, kind of try to peddle their services here. We don't need to learn about that just for now, so go ahead and uncheck that box. Next, uh, and then just go ahead and click Next. Um, so this will take about a minute to install. Um, so while we're waiting for it to install, I'm just going to talk real quickly about um, getting it up and running and uh, some other stuff for the class. Um, first thing is, if you have Skype running, uh, you need to turn that off uh, while you're installing it and while you are um, uh, while you're starting it. You can have it open later, that's totally fine. Uh, Skype has a bit of a interference with XAMPP, uh, so in order for it to work properly, just make sure that it Skype's turned off when you start, start the program. Uh, second thing is the yeah, browser that you're using. So um, we recommend that you use something like Google Chrome or uh, Mozilla Firefox. Uh, Safari is great if you're on a Mac computer as well. Um, the, only, the reason we don't recommend using Internet Explorer is because uh, when working locally there can be uh, some security stuff that Internet Explorer doesn't like and it can kind of just get in the way. Uh, so make sure that you have a copy of either Firefox or Chrome or Safari installed on your computer. Looks like this is just about finishing up. And there we go, everything has been finished. Um, and you'll get the screen here and there'll be a checkbox. Do you want to start the control panel now? We do because we want to test that it's working properly. Uh, so make sure that's checked and press finish. Um, and this window is going to open up. So uh, this is kind of like the remote control for getting everything started. There's all kinds of stuff in here um, that, we, uh, that we're using here. Um, but the 
two important ones that we want to start are Apache and MySQL. And we'll learn a little bit about what these two things are. Um, so go ahead and click Start on both of them. So I'm going to click MySQL and click Start. Um, and the thing that we're looking for here is that the background of MySQL turns green. Uh, you see a PID and you see a ports here. Uh, basically what that means is that everything was working properly. Uh, you can see a little bit of a log right here. It says uh, it's running. So MySQL is good. I'm going to go ahead and um, try and start Apache. Click start. And it looks like we have a little bit of an error here. So um, if you look at the log here, Apache shut down unexpectedly, made me to a port, blah, 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 a whole bunch of stuff you probably don't understand. Um, this happened to me the first time I installed it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just do a quick restart of my computer and hopefully that uh, fixes things. Okay, I'm back and um, I'm just going to go ahead and start up that screen that we had uh, previously. Uh, so if you click on your start button, uh, you might see it here, ZAMP control panel. If not, click all programs, find ZAMP, um, and go ahead and click ZAMP control panel. It's going to open that up. I'm going to start my MySQL again. Looks like it's working properly. Start my Apache yellow and now it's green. Okay, so this is the the most important part of uh, coming prepared to the class. Uh, if you're having trouble with this, uh, make sure that you email uh, someone, myself or a mentor at your, your local branch uh, and make sure that you have both Apache and MySQL up and running. Uh, the last thing we want to do real quickly is uh, to check that they're actually working in uh, in the browser. So go ahead and click admin for both of these. And it's going to open up a few uh, different things. So when we click the Apache tab, we get this ZAMP kind of landing screen. Um, and when we click the MySQL tab, we get this, which is PHP Mind Min. It's, it's for holding the database. And we'll learn more about that in the, uh, in the actual class. Uh, so if you see this, and you see this, and you see green, green, uh, you're in really good shape, and you're ready to start the course. Uh, so thanks a lot and let me know if you have any questions.